against me. Okay. Harassment against one of the things I love most in the world. Girl, I go off. What's up DIY babe? So it has been a hot minute since I have vlogged. My vlog game has been like a little bit down. Oh, and there's mom running towards the camera. <laughs> Typical. I am at Walmart Canada right now because Dum -ba -ba -da. Da -da -da -da. So Walmart Canada just went all in. They went all in. They really committed. So there is the jewelry line, the DIY jewelry crafting stuff, the DIY kits, the stationery. Guys, you haven't even seen the stationery yet. I have been keeping like a lot of it a secret because it hasn't launched yet, but it is officially in Canada. Canadian babe, I got you. Unfortunately, they only ship to Canada, but for Canadian babe, that's great. These are all from the Instagram. I remember when you posted that one. You posted this one on July 32nd. You posted this one on July 32nd? <laughs> <laughs> when I came out of my mouth, I knew that was wrong. Look yeah. how good it looks! Oh my god! So these are the mini jewelry kits. These are the big ones. I think you guys have seen these already because these are at Joann's. And these are the big DIY kits. You guys have been sending me so many amazing photos of your projects on Twitter already of these ones. And the stationery is so freaking cute. Look at this little pet balloon. It's a little, it's a little octopus with a hole. I have a request. What's your request? Cutifier space. Yeah. How do you say that one? Po un espace tout mignon. Is this Spanish? Yeah. I don't okay, know how to say that one. Nope. As que tu espacio sea mas lindo. Oh, that's you. I don't okay. know what it means, but I know the bailing, the dancing. Okay. Okay, back to stationery. <laughs> this is a planner. Super cute plant. And also, guys, like, you gotta see inside of this. It's so freaking cute. Can, can I ask tape? Can you make tape for me? Perfect. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. Pretty little plants. Yeah. You get little, you get a whole little sticker thing noted to do. Look at the little coffee man. He's so cute. We got January. Look at, there's Mew's. There's Moose Mew's. Every month or is he just Mr. January? January, February, smiling and freestyling. Mew's. <laughs> March, all the pages are so cute. Guys, you gotta come check this out. Fine and fine job, Alex. Thank you. I was born for this. Anyways, if you guys come get this, send me photos, and it's so cute. Oh my gosh, Moose looks so good. Awesome. Moose looks great. Okay, we've got the cutest little puppy stickers. They're all so kawaii. These ones are glitter. This is a little happy cloud man. And like, look how cute the insides of all of them are. I die. What are you doing? I'm a tabu. Oh, you ready? For okay, okay, okay. We'll get there. If you've got some majorly good ideas, you can put them here. More holographic stickers. This one's super hollow. Another pad folio. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Good table, good table. Oh, look how hollow it is. It's so beautiful. This one's an agenda as well, holographic. <gasps> look how cute it is. These plans belong to, look how cute. Okay, all right. Come back, come, uh, come back, come back, come back. Okay. January, it looks like a bath bomb. It's so pretty, look how good. Okay, all right. Oh. Hello. Okay. Oh no, here we go. It's me! <laughs> We're almost done the stationary tour. This one will be really quick. Okay, table please. Table please, thank you. Look how cute the inside of this. Ready and bam! Yeah! 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 You wanna see something cute? What is it? Oh. oh, oh! don't buy this one. Alex just farted on it. That's good. That's good, baby. That's good. Walmart back farts. Oh, Walmart sorry. back farts. Oh. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so yeah, oh my gosh, we have a whole end cap of Lord DIY stuff at Walmart Canada. I'm so excited! Also, everything is also gonna be launching in the States. I know a lot of my viewers are in the States, in America. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram because I'll be doing a whole series of different drops in different stores. Hashtag Lord DIY drop happening all summer and fall. You guys already have some of the stationery before I do. Like, obviously, we designed all of it, but I don't even have any of this yet. So, I'm gonna buy, I almost wanna buy one of everything. Hey, uh, Alice, Alice, yeah. Alice. Alice, how much uh, how much space you got in your suitcase? Uh, I got I got enough. Wait, so I can buy like four of everything? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Walmart Canada. Guys, send me photos. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Also, I feel like Canada literally gets everything last. And in this case, it just worked out that Canada was down to take everything first, and that literally never happens. But states, don't worry. We're coming for you next. No, no, look, it's me. This is all our DIY stuff. This is all my Lord stuff. Look at my face. And these are all of my my stationery. This is all her. Who's on the corner of this month? Look at Who's on the corner of that month? Moose! <laughs> it's a moose moose. That's me. This is all That one's stuff. me. Oh, That's me. One, That's me. Red. That's me. That's me. That doesn't look like you. That doesn't look like me? No, uh. These are all her craft kits. Oh, bracelet kits, because oh. you know this is what all the stuff that we used to buy for Lauren. We are back at Walmart because we just went to go show Nana the Lord DIY end cap. Nana, what are you getting? Stickers! Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's the right side. There we go. <laughs> Notice these stickers that are apparently going on our Christmas presents in three months. What? Because I'm in the store, I can't just take it. No, you can. You can just take it if your name is Nana. That's the free pass. If your name is Nana DIY, it's free for you. You can just take it. I look like I work at like a candy shop with this shirt. I wanted to like stay a little more open, but it's just it's just not happening. Hi guys, so it is a little bit later in the day, and Angela and I, my best friend from Toronto, are having our annual B Day celebrations because her birthday is 13 days after mine. So when I'm home for the cottage, we try and meet up and do our present exchange and just go for a little picnic. And so we just did that. We went to the little beach area in my hometown, and now we have confetti cannon. And they're like a one-shot deal so I'm just gonna set the vlog down and get my mom to put the photo on like burst mode and we'll see what happens I I have low expectations but we shall see confetti cannon time three two one go <laughs> <What is that? laughs> anticlimactic Breathe, breathe. Hi guys. Okay, so <laughs> major change of tone of this vlog. Something crazy just happened at the airport and I'm gonna wait till I get home to vlog the whole story. And I, like drama doesn't happen to me. I don't get into fights. I don't get into confrontational situations. This is probably the craziest thing that I, that has ever happened to me possibly in terms of like getting into a personal fight with someone. You were, um, you were shaking a little bit. Oh my God, a little bit? I'm still shaking. <laughs> I like, oh my God. So anyway, I'm gonna wait till I get home to tell the whole story, but just like sis the tea is hot <laughs> hi guys so I am home finally as much as I love being on vacation it always feels so good to come home and sleep in your own bed and I'm just like excited to be back in routine anyways as you can see from the last clip I had a little altercation um, at the airport today I don't get into fights with people I like don't deal with confrontation or altercations or any kind of like issue so this rarely ever happens to me hence why I don't do like story times or anything because nothing exciting ever happens and obviously I would have preferred this to not have happened and just continued my unproblematic life but um no not today also I have a canker sore on the very tip of my tongue and it's making it really difficult to talk because I'm like a little bit in pain so if I sound like I have a little bit of a lisp today it's because I do okay moving on so I just want to start this whole thing off by saying that I have flown with Air Canada so many times like probably more than any other airline and I have had nothing but good experiences so this is not me coming for the company because 99.99999% of the time been an amazing positive experience because I know a lot of airlines get in trouble for doing things and doing things wrong and messing up and whatever. This is not that. Well, I mean, okay, no, it is that, but this is not me being like, don't fly Air Canada because I, I love Air Canada. And yes, I am angry and frustrated with this individual and she is a representation of the brand, but also just like, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just gonna get into the story. So early this morning, Alex and I flew back from Toronto to LAX and you guys already know this but moose is my registered emotional support animal and I just want everyone to be aware that yes there are major differences between a service animal and emotional support animal but both titles are allowed on an aircraft not in a crate not like confined or restricted or in any way and those are the laws it could be a husky it could be a chihuahua it could be a Pomeranian. It could be a mias mias. Alex and I are approaching the check-in lines. Alex is walking a little bit ahead of me, maybe like 10 steps, and Moose and I are following. And as I approach the line, there is a woman standing there who it looks like her job is to probably just answer questions and guide people if they're lost or need help. So literally her job and probably her main role is to be informed and probably to like maybe know the rules of your airline and just like the specifications of how things go. So her job is to be armed with knowledge for her company. So I'm approaching the lineup. I may be about a foot away from her and this woman looks me dead in the eyes and says, that dog needs a muzzle. It's also like six o'clock in the morning and you know, I'm asleep, Moose is asleep, Alex is up ahead of us. My brain is like, what did, what did this lady just, did this lady just, it just, what? I am literally dumbfounded and I look at her and not even in a sassy tone. I'm just like trying to register what's going on. And I'm like, what did you just say to me? And this woman has the audacity to take a little tiny step closer to me, look me dead in the eyes and say for the second time that dog should be muzzled. Oh, okay, okay. Hate against me. Okay, hate against my content or things I work on. Okay, harassment against one of the things that I love most in the world that is completely out of line. Girl, I go 
off. I also forgot to add that Moose is literally just standing next to my luggage. Like just standing there, minding his own business, being cute, being a Moose Moose. So it's not like he was barking at someone or being some kind of nuisance. And I'm sure that pit bull owners have it way worse than any bull terrier owner because of the stigma around pit bulls, which I do not support. And it's not the first time that I have been subject to an ignorant comment by someone on the streets. But by an airline rep who can clearly see the big red leash that says emotional support animal. I honestly just wish someone could have recorded the altercation because like this lady, oh my God. And also too, I feel like when you're so in the moment, you just like black out in rage and anger. And these are emotions that I do not feel very often. I'm like a pretty happy, upbeat person. And so my body just like shuts down. Like I don't, I start sweating. My knees are literally shaking. My hands are shaking. My palms are clammy. Like my body does not know how to react to situations like this. Alex, not knowing any of this is going on, is still up ahead of me. And I say something along the lines of, I have traveled numerous times with this dog without any altercation and any ignorant comments such as yours. I said, you obviously have no knowledge of what an emotional support animal does or the rules around it. I just like, how does someone get hired and allow this to happen? So I'm spewing off words. I'm angry. My voice is starting to get a little bit raised. People are starting to turn and look towards us. Moose, by the way, is just still just standing there looking like a cute little yes meows. And Alex is still up ahead, not really knowing what's going on. And this lady is just standing there looking at me like she has done absolutely nothing wrong so I'm going off and she cuts me off and she says I was bit I was bit by a large dog does this look like your large dog does this look like your large dog that bit you and so I say um okay well did this dog bite you did my dog bite you I was like that is so offensive seeing as you know absolutely nothing about me as an owner or this dog Alex at this point hears me getting angry and yelling at this woman turns around and starts like taking in what's going on seeing that there's like a literal fight happening again we never have drama like never ever 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 I'm again just like rambling about how he's an emotional support dog and Air Canada already has all the paperwork and he's been approved and he's not a pit bull because I think pit bulls might have a potential ban in Ontario. Again, do not condone that. I am so, so, so against dog stigmas like that. And she looks at me again for the third time and says, your dog should be muzzled. And so Alex, who has taken in the situation now and heard the last bit of the conversation, goes to this woman, bless his soul. I have never supported my man more than right now. And he goes, would you like a muzzle? Should we put a muzzle on you? And maybe not the best thing to say in hindsight to, you know, you know, like just, calm down the situation but he saw how upset i was and when someone has made me upset alex just like turns into the hulk he's just like Mah! she still is stone cold like no emotion on this lady's face and she storms off to the check-in counter that we are headed to probably to go tattle on us or try and ruin our flight kick us off get us removed or whatever i dig deep find those track and field skills and sprint to that check-in counter so i'm there first and say to the check-in lady who is not satan over here and i say something along the lines of this woman is harassing us. She says that my emotional support animal who is registered needs a muzzle, which is completely inappropriate and out of line. And honestly, bless this woman at the counter. Kim, if somehow this video and story comes back to you, Thank you so much. You are the exact type of person who is so good at customer service because she just took that situation from here and brought it down here. First of all, she told off Satan, which was great. She was like, uh, no, he's registered. He does not need a muzzle. That's not a rule. He's fine. You're fine. Satan, please leave the area. So Alex and I are doing like a mini dance, but we're still hyperventilating. I'm shaking. I'm sweating. I'm still not recovered from this confrontational situation. And Kim is like, just breathe. You're in the Kim zone now. Everything is fine. Everything is totally fine you guys are good it's gonna be a great flight a great day you're in the Kim zone I loved being in the Kim zone I have exited Satan's hell and have entered the Kim zone <sighs> I honestly just kind of attribute this whole thing to ignorance this lady obviously had a bad experience I feel for you that's terrible whatever and she just took her personal opinion and just decided to be a complete a-hole to me out of nowhere like I didn't make eye contact with this lady I had no intention of conversing with this lady until she talked to me. So it was like, I, I, I didn't initiate this interaction. So, I mean, I mean, that's not like a crazy amount of drama. I know there's a lot of other things going on right now, especially in the beauty community, looking at you guys. But, oh my, I'm just, I feel angry even just talking about it now. Oh my gosh, like it just, oh, it brought back all the emotions. I'm just like, oh, oh my God. So anyways, Kim, 
if you're watching this i love you thank you so much you honestly took our day and did a 180 with it after our interaction with satan and air canada i still love you i'm still gonna fly with you but if an employee threatens me again with harassment, oh girl, I will come for you for real. I will get mom DIY involved and nobody wants mom DIY coming for them. Also, I think it's really appropriate to show you guys some really scary, serious photos of Moose needing a muzzle. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty serious. He should definitely be muzzled. I mean, like, she's totally right. I just, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm so wrong. I, I don't even know how to end this vlog now. Oh, I'm still so heated. Oh my God, I'm stressed. I feel like I need to like just like go for a nap or something. Anyways, if you haven't seen last Sunday's Sunday DIY, that'll be linked in the down bar below. And I will see you guys on Sunday for another Sunday when I get on Wednesday for another week big vlog. Hopefully it has no drama in it. Okay, bye guys. Love you. I'm the DIY queen. That's the royal elite. My pretty little kingdom now you're running the streets. The DIY queen, yeah you know what.